One of the key benefits to the actor hierarchy is the role that it plays in supervision. You get to have it so that a parent has the ability to deal with problems that occur in the children. And this is part of what potentially makes actor systems so robust. When people write actor systems and when they're designed, you make the assumption that things are going to go wrong and then you are going to deal with them. Whereas many people try to write programs just assuming everything's going to work all the time and then of course it doesn't and when things go wrong it crashes down. Part of what makes the actor system uh, very useful in many uh, environments is the fact that it produces very robust programs because they are built to fail and they are built to deal with that failure. So how does the supervisor uh, aspect of actors work in Akka? Well, there's something called a supervisor strategy. And so you get to tell each one of your actors that is a supervisor. So if we start with the code that we had for our hierarchy example, we're going to make a new supervisor example. And this time, instead of copying things out of simple, we're going to copy some stuff out of here. Okay. Control Shift O. We'll bring in our ACA stuff. Of So we have a parent actor. Again, we still have the ability to tell our parent actor to create a child, and each child will get a unique number. Um, but what I want to do inside of the child is instead of having it, instead of the print signal, let's also do a case class divide numbers. And so, actually let's do an n and a d. Uh, yeah. So I'll pass in a numerator and a denominator. Uh, that's part of the work that our child actor is doing here. So we're going to have a case for a divide numbers, which takes those two values and is just going to print line out n divided by d. Okay. Um, this all seems fine. Oh, let's go ahead and let's take our actor and tell it to uh, create child. And maybe we'll do that twice. But then I want to get that child. So let's come over here and let's copy our code that had been looking up. Let's get one of these children. Child zero will be parent one, child zero. And we're going to send them a message. We're going to send to them divide numbers uh, four divided by two, which we're gonna hope prints out the value two. There we go. Okay, now in this case, that's the only thing that we're printing. I don't have a terminate down here. Let's go ahead and sleep for a second. And terminate. But what happens if you divide by zero? Well, it turns out that integer division by zero produces an error, produces an arithmetic exception for divide by zero. Um, now, what goes on in an actor system when that happens is when the child fails, it actually sends a message up to its parent. And the parent can decide how to deal with that by setting that supervisor strategy. There are two main strategies that you can use. There is a one-for-one -one strategy, and then there is and uh, all for one strategy. 
most of the time you want to use the one for one strategy. That means that if one actor, one of your child actors has a problem, you're gonna decide what to do with it. The all for one, when one actor has a problem, one of your children has a problem, you're gonna do the same thing to all of your children. Okay? So there are some situations where you want that, but most of the time you don't. So how do we deal with this, uh, giving our parent a strategy for working for things? Well, it turns out that all we have to do is, it already has a strategy, we need to override that strategy and it's called the supervisor strategy and we're going to set it to be a one for one strategy which has an apply method um, so if we go back and look at the one for one strategy it's a case class and we have a number of different ways that we can make it uh, we're gonna set the logging to be on and then we have to pass it the way in which we're going to deal with the errors so logging enabled equals actually I'm going to turn the logging off here And then we're going to pass it a uh, we're going to uh, yes pass it a body for the different ways that it can handle errors. Let's go ahead and let's do an import. So we brought in the one for one strategy there. Case. Now we saw that this was an arithmetic exception. So we can tell it what we want to do in case of an arithmetic exception. And what are the things that we can do? Well, if we go back to our supervisor strategy object, there are four different ways that you can respond to this. Okay. Escalate, restart, resume, and stop. Resume is actually what I want to do in the case of the, um, the division by zero. The resume is kind of the this wasn't much of an error at all. The actor has no problems. It should just keep going, processing all of the messages that it might have had in its inbox. Basically, you're just, it's like telling the child, no, no, you're okay, just go run off and play. In the case of the division by zero, I'm perfectly happy with telling it to resume. Now, in order to be able to use that name, we need to import the Akka actor supervisor strategy, all the things from there, and then we can just say resume. What if it's some other type of exception? I don't know what other type of exception it might be, but if it's something else, well, then that could be more serious. So what are the other types of responses that we have? Restart says <clears throat> we're going to, that, ch that child actor now has uh, something's wrong with it and so we're basically going to replace it with another one that we've built and that's what the the restart will do is we're just going to build a new one and stick it in its place stop says okay that was pretty much a, a fatal error but we this actor was done doing whatever it should have done and so we're not even going to bother bringing it back up and then escalate means this error is big enough I don't even know how to deal with it. I'm going to send it up to my parent. So basically the grandparent of the actor that had the problem. In this example, I will say that all other errors cause a restart. And that restart will wind up bringing back up the actor uh, after a short period of time. There is some delay in there between the time when it has the exception and when it will be back online to handle stuff. So in order to demonstrate this, um, we run this, nothing got printed. Uh, that's because the division happened, but it happened on a, you know, the four and the zero. We could send another message here 
to do 4 divided by 2. Again, and these are integer divisions, so I can, uh, if I do anything too large, we'll just get 0 out of it. Note that this printed the 2. Nothing happened for the 4, 0, because that through the arithmetic exception. What if we make one other, we're going to make a case object for, uh, we'll just call it bad stuff. And when bad stuff gets sent to the child down here, case bad stuff, we are going to throw a new runtime exception. Stuff happened. Okay. We come down here and we're going to send to child zero the message bad stuff. We don't see anything happening there, um, but that actor wound up being shut down. We'll come back in the next video, we'll talk a little bit about the actor life cycle, and this will allow us to kind of see what's going on in the background and how you can gain control over what happens when actors are shut down and brought back up, etc.